super. So we'll call the uh, January 20th special select board meeting to order. We've got, uh, who do we have here? We've got Flo, we've got Brad. Who, who's on? I can't see who's here, actually. Let me see. Pop we've got uh, we've got Vince Conti, John Quinn, yourself, the chair, Mr. Lawrence, uh, Corinne, Dave Delcor, Dave Sawyer, Orca Media, Brad, and Tim Schwartz. Perfect. Thank you, Vince. Uh, and, Diane, addition? and Diane Isabel. Right. Sorry. Okay. Awesome. Uh, any additions or changes to this agenda? No, sir. All right. Any public comment? Okay. Uh, hearing none, let's get the budget review going and underway. Everybody must have gotten the email you sent out earlier, right? I hope so. If you'd like, I can walk through a, a very quick summary of the detail regarding the changes from the original proposed budget, if you like. I think we've done a bunch of that. I appreciate that, Vince. Um, if, if nobody objects, did everybody take a good look at it, see that we're at a 2.9% proposed budget? We have we have the error that I had for... Yep, I'm going to bring that up once he's gone through it. Dave, John, Brad... Hello, did you guys did you guys take a look at the budget that got sent out today? I actually had a training this morning and was working all afternoon, so I wouldn't be opposed to us going down through where the changes were made and the differences or posing questions. Okay, not a problem. So I think what, what happened this morning is I know that when I in my absence at the first meeting in January, the board had requested that Vince come back with a three percent increase. Um, after conversation, I, I decided we, Vince and I spoke this morning and, and I reached out and we decided to come back to the board with a two point, uh, with a, a new proposed budget that met that. Um, and so we made some, some brief changes. Do you remember where we were at with the, the last budget, the last meeting? Uh, 5.1. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's incorrect. Uh, it was four point. It was 4.1, I believe. 4.1, yes. Sorry. That um, was, the original budget was 5.1, so that was 4.1. Right. So we had we had a 4.1% proposed budget at our last meeting, Flo. Uh, and yes, from that's that, true. And from that, Vince, you, you, we basically we reduced the capital improvement by 45,000, right? That's correct. What, else, what other changes did you make other than that? Anything? From, from the last one, that was the only change that... Uh, that we made. So we went over that last budget at 4.1%. Instead of 250,000 into the capital improvement budget, we're, we're putting 200,000, uh, 205,000, right? Correct. Uh, which, which, I mean, like basically the way I view it, we, you know, we want to start paying cash. We don't want to take loans out anymore. This, this budget's huge strides towards doing that for the town of Berlin while not impacting the taxpayers uh, as, as well, while keeping it at a 3% increase, what I think is reasonable. Um, we should be able to hopefully with trade-ins and all that make, make it through our next round of replacement vehicles for the town. Uh, the, the regular, what is it? The regular pickup and one of the smaller dump trucks. We should be able to, to hopefully do that. Um, without having to borrow any money as well with this proposed budget. So, so I think it's a fiscally conservative budget. It's responsible, and it, it keeps the, the taxpayers from feeling the burden of a potentially huge increase on their residents, their property taxes. Okay. So that, that's the only change flow. Okay. So, Justin, I need to add one more thing. Go for it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> is that so, a wah, 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 wah? no? It's not. It's not that bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, Diane and I went through this, and then Diane went through it once I revised it one more time with a very fine tooth comb, and she uncovered that uh, we did miss one thing, and that was about a twenty-three thousand uh, dollar culvert payment um, that will need to be made. So we did miss including that. Um, we can either take that on the chin or um, I can adjust, Diane and I talked and we can adjust the um, highway equipment and structure budget by 23,000, bringing that down to 277 to offset that and keep us at the 
I think the the board's request of the two the three percent. You know, I appreciate all the hard work you guys put into it, and the board's request of the three percent. We should probably keep that. Okay, think, so that will that, be that will be the only other change then to meet that. We'll adjust the highway equipment and structures on the capital budget down to two seventy seven from three hundred to offset that twenty three k. If the board agrees, from to two seventy seven from three hundred. How does the board feel about that? I'll, I, I'll say, I'll say that I'm fine with it. Um, normally, uh, if, if we were, if we were doing this and we were, we already had, uh, the appropriate funds or a routine for, uh, capital improvement, I would, I would not, uh, be in favor of lowering it to meet the expectation of the board. Uh, I would look for a change in process in operating budget, but, uh, given we're taking a pretty big swing here from uh, we were trying to go from zero to 250, I think scaling that back a little bit the first year, um, it gives us an opportunity to see how it goes and, and build off from that and also explain it to the residents that may not uh, be, be understanding of exactly what we're doing. So I'm okay with the 2.9 where we are now. Thank you, John. I feel Dave? the same way. I feel the same way on that. I, I like the way that it's structured. Thank you, Dave. Anything else, Dave? You good? Well, again, the, the, the bottom line number will stay the same for the proposed budget. Yep, absolutely. Um, Flo, Brad, any comments? Anybody care to make a motion? I'd be willing to make a motion to accept the budget for the uh, 22 uh, as presented at the 2.9. Could I, Dave, could I ask you to amend your motion? It's that I think it would be the FY23 budget. Yeah, yeah okay. The FY23 budget, I'd make a motion to approve it at the 2.9% increase with the adjustments that Vince has uh, discussed. I'll second it. Great. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion, motion carries. All right. So we have a uh, town meeting warning article approval. Vince? Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I got this today from Rosemary, so I was not able to get you a copy uh, electronically yet. I, I haven't scanned it or, or anything yet. Um, basically, um, I'll go through the warning very quickly that she's produced in the article. She had a couple of just uh, quick questions on it as well um, for the for the board. Um, it basically reads very similar to last year. Um, the meeting will be warned for 7 a.m. at the municipal office with the voting on the municipal office on Tuesday, March 1st to vote on the following articles. Then there's a little paragraph that says due to COVID, uh, there will be no in-person a pre-town meeting or town meeting, a virtual pre-town meeting will be held um, if we all agree on the date at 6 p.m. on Monday, February 21st, 2022. All articles shall be voted by Australian ballot. Uh, the polls will open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. Uh, this is all in line. Um, then it talks about how the residents may register to vote. Again, very similar uh, cut and paste from last year's on that. Uh, the only article uh, that she had a question on for the board to get clear is from the uh, Capital City Grange. Um, it's it's worded basically exactly like last year, uh, since the should be a uh, the the Grange wanted a longer period, um, uh, but it, since we they don't have the opportunity to do it on a floor vote, uh, similar to last year again. Um, she put the same one on for a full year, wanted to know if that is what the board wanted to do. And I believe Mr. Swartz is, is here for that reason as well. Uh, should well, there be any questions uh, for him on that? So the article so, reads- So when we did, just real quick, not, I will interrupt, I guess, briefly. When we, Dave, Dave, Dave made the moment, I mean, we're doing one year. Um, I guess read the article, but it, anything more the board's already made their determination on that so okay so the article just reads shall the town grant a continuation 
of the full property tax exemption for a period of one year to the Capital City Grange, number 469, properly located, property located at 6612 Vermont Route 12, in exchange for free use of the property by residents, a minimum of two times a month, pursuant to 32 BSA 3840. That's, that's yeah, that's exactly, I believe, what we had in there last year. So I'm and fine that with was, that. Yeah, that was, I think I made a motion a couple of meetings back to, you, you to did. approve that. Yeah, yep. you did. Um, so we're just cleaning up the language, making sure the language is appropriate for the warning. Yeah. And then the, the last thing I have from her is that uh, it's more of a just a notice to the board that she's going to be sending out uh, as the town clerk on uh, information um, for the Berlin voters that basically states due to COVID that there's no town meeting again um, and explaining how the ballots will be distributed um, and what they need to do um, so that help them make a decision. So she'll be sending that out to all um, registered voters um, in the town for, for that purpose. Also with a note uh, about the virtual town meeting date and time. And that's, that's my question as well. Uh, I just wanna throw that out that if the board agrees to that uh, February 21st date, which was the date and time of the regular select board meeting, but it falls within the window to have um, the pre-town meeting. So rather than you know have a have an additional meeting, um, I would set that side that time aside for the board at a regular board meeting to okay. just we would have it at that time. Say that one more time, Vince. I'm one more time. Okay there at the end. <laughs> um, just. Um, the virtual town meeting. I um, I gave Rosemary the date. Um, I did speak to one other board member prior to that, that then they were favorable to that. Um, and that's to have the, the virtual pre-town meeting on Monday, February 21st at 6 p.m., which would have been the, the second regular select board meeting for the month of February. So I thought I would, rather than call you in for another night for another meeting on this that I would tie it in with that meeting. I will keep yep. the agenda obviously for the select board meeting to a minimum, only something that absolutely needs to be discussed at that time and then go right into the pre-town meeting. Yeah, I'm good with that. How's the rest of the board feel about that? I'm also, I feel, feel okay with that. I am as well. All right. Are you looking for, do we need to make a motion on this, Vince? On, on I don't on believe the, the do. first part. Do we have to make a motion on the warning? I feel like we do. On the warning? Yeah. There are we changes go. that are needed to the signature page as well um, in terms of names and titles and um, I'm not sure if David would want his name C. David Sawyer and um, position and titles need to be changed. Yeah, okay, she used the one, yeah, I got you. I'll have make those changes. Thank you. Any questions for me, Justin? I don't have any questions. Um, does anybody want to make a motion to approve the warning? So moved. Second. Any, any discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, perfect. Round table events. I'm sure you don't have anything, but you might. I never know with you. Me? Oh, come on. No, I have nothing. Oh, my goodness. It's a mayor. I know. That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I, yeah. I'd just like to thank you and Diane for working on the budget and doing such a great job for us. Uh, Anybody else have anything for round table? I don't Maybe have so. anything. Thank you. 
All say. right. All right. Uh, there's no no executive session, right, Vince? No, sir. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you. Have a good Thank night, you. everyone. Thank you, you too, everybody. everybody.